hello everyone so now let's do one more mini project in this one we are going to configure the ntp server if you remember in our practical packet tracer series last time we done vlan inter vlan and how we can uh, what we can say configure ospf if we want to advertise our vlan network how we can configure ospf vlan we are uh, building our background to go for the big project before going to that one we are just learning the basic foundation so later we can apply all this knowledge in one thing okay one project directly so anyhow we need to do so many thing we need to do acl we need to do nat then we can start doing one small organization enterprise network design then we can go for little big but before going to that one we should have some basic knowledge of ntp also already ntp we have the theory in our ccna paid or free batch already we have already you can learn from there if you want to join you can whatsapp us to join the paid batch also very soon we are going to start this is a uh, what we can say only practical here we are going to get the practical but here in our live batch we are going to discuss real scenario many thing theory practical everything okay anyhow here we are going to do the lab so imagine your manager told you your manager told you can you go configure the ntp on this router r1 and configure the ntp in the r2 and also configure the ntp in the switch one network time protocol ntp is nothing but network time protocol why we need the ntp maybe you are thinking why we need the ntp because this device is having different time all devices having different time whenever we have any issue in our organization we are going to check the sys log we are going to check the sys system log sys log we are going to check whenever we have any issue and we are going to use snmp network uh, simple network management protocol to manage the network to check the alarm everything so all this is having the time it is having the time stamp if your device is having different time here and here maybe some minutes or second you will have some difference in the time to make all should be have same time we will use the ntp server so all our device is going to get the time from ntp server so all the device should have the same time okay no difference in the second or millisecond all the device should have the same time even in second and millisecond everything will be same so whenever we have any issue we can easily track we will have the time stamp in the syslog and snmp anyhow now let's see how we can assign the uh, how we can configure the ntp server so first of all i will go to r1 this is a brand new router so just we need to set up the basic thing i will not show you how to configure the and what we can say telnet or ssh already we discuss and we know that one in this one just we will do the basic setup that is assigning the ip and then how we can configure the ntp server that's all okay if you see this is a brand new i will go i will rename the router name host name r1 and then we will write here uh, like do show ip interface brief just to check the interface so this is our interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 this one we are using if you see this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 okay this way check this is a fast ethernet 0 by 1 connected to switch and fast ethernet 0 by 2 for this connected here means this is a switch interface okay and this is a router interface so what we can say here our router is using f0 by 0 for r1 and for r2 f0 by 0 okay and switch is using this three interface and this server interface is fast ethernet zero anyhow so we know that we our interface is fast ethernet zero by zero so we can assign the ip address so as per our ip schema we are going to use this one in our ip plan in the company we will have the ip plan in the ip plan we will have the all the ip is written there with the subnet mass everything so we can uh, take the ip plan and we can check and as per the ip plan we will assign the ip address so i will take this one and i will write here ip address 192.168.1.3 1.3 okay and then 255.255.255.0 and then we will write no shirt what i done just i assign the ip address i will save the configuration and if you want to check the time we will write show clock if you check it is showing 1993 but if you see today is 2022 
2022 is the correct uh, date but in our cisco router we are having incorrect time okay that's why we need the ntp server okay anyhow i configured the ip address here and let me configure here also the ip address so i will go to the r2 also i will write here no and then i will write here enable config t host name r2 okay and then i will write here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and then i will assign the ip address what is ip we are going to use for this one let me check in our ip schema you can in the real scenario you will check the ip plan okay you will check the ip plan here 1.4 so let me go to r2 1.4 and we write 255.255.255.0 and we write the notion so this way we finish i will save the configuration we assign the ip address to r1 and r2 if you want to assign the ip address to this switch also management vlan we will take any vlan which is management vlan generally for lab purpose we will take vlan 1 okay so i will go here uh, config t i think uh, let me uh, I will take the config t here config t and then I will write interface vlan1 I will write IP address what IP we will give 192.168.1.2 and 255.255.255.0 and I will write no shut okay just I assign the IP address here also so all the devices is having the IP address I will save the configuration and if you see here this is a NTP server IP address this is the NTP server IP address. So I will configure here. First of all, I will go here NTP server and then we need to give the IP address. So what is the IP address of our NTP server 192.1.1. But before let me assign the IP here. This server is not having IP. So I will write 192.168.1.1 and the gateway I will give 192.168.1.100 because imagine one router we have that is connected to the internet so that router ip is 1.100 so that's why i give 1.100 and dns we will use google dns so this one and if you want to enable the ntp services we can check go in the services in the packet tracer we have this facility but in the real you will have the ready-made ntp server is also there or we can build also if you see here in the services go here and click ntp already it is on if you want to put off you can put off but this is already on if you want to put any password you can enable the authentication also but now i am not using any authentication it is disabled okay uh, i did not enable the authentication and this time everything is taking from my machine so keep as it is okay in this scenario it is taking from my machine so now we will configure so what we will write ntp server and give the server ip that's all and press ctrl z and save so in the r1 we configure but ntp is a slow protocol it will take time so if we check it will not show now show clock it still it is not uh, working means it will take some time to synchronize it will take time so till that time we will configure in r2 also so i will write ntp server 192.168.1.1 okay and i will save the configuration and you need to remember NTP is a slow protocol it will take time so no need to worry you need to wait for some time NTP NTP server 192.168.1.1 we finish our task here also and if you want to make sure you can ping from here 192.168.1.1 you can ping or not you can ping you are able to ping the NTP server okay here also if you want to check you can ping 192.168.1.1 1 .1. it is working so ntp server is reachable okay and now again we will check 192.168.1.1 1 .1. it is reachable okay now let's see what is the status of uh, a status show ntp status show ntp status i put here clock is unsynchronized still it is not synchronized okay it will take some time and if we write show clock let me write show clock here show clock still it is showing old time okay because ntp is a slow protocol let me check here also before we write show clock let me check still it is same still it is same 
in real scenario you need to wait but here if you don't want to wait just do this fast forward okay when you press the fast forward it will uh, very fast and then we can check if you check show clock it is showing 2022 okay january 29 so it is working now okay this router is having the update and if you want to check here also show ntp status if you see it is showing clock is synchronized okay and this is a reference from where we are getting this one and if you want what we can do we can check here show clock also so now correct time and we have show ntp association if you see this star and this symbol means it is synchronized and this is the reference clock and if you see what else here or simple way you can check this one show clock so now we have the new time okay the correct time what we have so this board device is taken the time from this ntp server and if you want to check here also we can write show clock here let me write show clock in the switch and it is working perfectly now if anything go wrong we will have the syslog server in that one we will have the correct time stamp okay for that purpose we need to configure the ntp server so just remember in interview anyone asks you just you need to remember full form ntp is nothing but network time protocol it is used in the network to uh, synchronize the uh, time ntp server is used in the network to synchronize the time to router switches firewall and all the network device and what else you can say why we need means you can say we need the ntp server to sing, uh, to uh, to have the same time in our whole network else if you configure manually all the device may be it is having some minutes some seconds difference in the different devices but if you synchronize from the ntp server all the device will have the same time so whenever we have any issue in our network when we check the syslog messages or the uh, uh, snmp manager snmp software whenever we check we will have the time stamp there so we know which time what happened example some router reboot on this time so we will have the correct time if your router r1 is having different time r2 is having different time r1 reboot and your ntp is having different time all other devices having different time then you will have the complexity you cannot track what happened what time and this issue like one uh, router is showing some different time switch is showing some different time lot of issue to overcome this types of issue we will use the ntp server okay we learn how we can configure okay